Hi guys, welcome to another Kemikaze creation video. Uh, a big thank you video this one. Uh, finally, after two and a half years of making videos, I uh, hit all of those targets for YouTube to get to monetization. Not that that uh, uh, is a big financial thing because you don't get a lot of money at uh, my level, but I started this uh, channel out uh, with a group of young uh, men that I was teaching at the time when I was teaching uh, and I was teaching multimedia and video and uh, it was a bit of a challenge it was a bit of a trying to set an example saying you can do this you know I, I used to keep using uh, YouTube and a lot of the social media apps out there as opportunities to make money uh, and uh, that's why I started this, just to say you can do it, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So if those young fellas are watching, I won't name any of them, uh, leave a message down in the comments below, but finally hit it. My goal originally was to make one cent, and uh, over the last week I think I've made about three bucks. So I've well and truly smashed that, uh, that goal. Uh, and a big thank you to everyone out there, everyone that's been watching. Uh, it's not the flashiest YouTube channel out there, uh, but I'm just in the shed and having a go and learning and sharing all my car building ideas. Anyway, we're back into this motor. Uh, the mission at the moment is to check the uh, valve to piston clearance. And uh, as you can see, I'm sort of moving along that path. I've uh, made a bit of progress, uh, so I'll show you what I'm up to. I'm halfway through taking the uh, valve springs and collets off. This is a U-Butte little um, spring compressor uh, that I've borrowed. Brilliant, just uh, screws into the stud location for the rocker uh, and it's got an over centre um, lever on it so it actually locks in uh, once you compress and uh, allows you to take the um, collet off and spring and cap and everything. So uh, this one I think is pretty close to being set up. So just got to get that collet to release. And uh, there it goes, so the collet's now popped up. Just need to pop that out. Uh, release it, take the spring off. All of our springs are off and I've just run the verniers over all of them and uh, I've got clearance, probably about 40 thou clearance on um, all of them based on the open position um, to total lift, uh, which is about 500 and seven five hundred and eight thou is the max lift on the exhaust valve so uh all looking good i can now assemble all of those back on put all the springs collets retainers on all of them and uh i'm pretty much ready to um check the piston to valve clearance uh, so looking good <clears throat> rolled the engine back over i've got the crank back in and I've got number one pot sitting in there and I've got some play-doh sitting on top of the piston so I've just got to set up um, I've put a, two solids down in there, two solid lifters uh, I've got the valve timing done or the, the timing marks lined up every, anyway uh, whack the gasket on and put a couple of studs in. I think I'll put some studs in the center as well. So I'm just going to whack the, the head on now. Uh, really only need the uh, first cylinder set up. So um, get some rockers on, get some lifters in and uh, turn it over and see what sort of impression I get in that Play-Doh. That's the mission. We'll see how we go. I've got a couple of issues to solve here, <laughs> as you always do do in uh, modified engine builds. Um, but as you can see, I've got a lot of movement uh, in the rocker. And if you have a look up in there, the rocker is actually bearing down on the end of the stud. 
So this is Stud Mount, Stud Mount uh, Yellow Terra Roller Rockers. And if you look beyond that, it's running the guide plate for the push rods. And if you look right up there, the neck or the head of the stud is not even coming down to bear on the guide plate. So I've had a bit of a look at this earlier and I've made one modification. There's a couple of paths I can go. Um, but I still don't think it's going to resolve this. I think um, I've got to look at my push rod uh, length and the rocker geometry uh, to solve this. Uh, these push rods, if you look up, the, uh, um, 173 push rods are basically 9 inches long. These are 9 inches and 50 thou. Um, but I have modified the cam and I am running uh, stud mount roller rockers and the block's been decked and, you know, a lot of things have changed. So, uh, first problem, I've got to get these studs because the guide plate doesn't hold. I've got to fix that problem um, and I've probably got to look at getting an adjustable um, push rod and determining uh, the best geometry for these roller rockers sitting on the valves. Uh, but Because I'm getting nowhere near it and I'm already bearing down on that, uh, that hex head to tighten the stud down into the block. So as you can see, the top of the uh, stud mounting positions have had a light skim over them, not sure how much they've taken off them. Um, but that leaves, if I can get it to uh, zero in, that leaves a bit sharper shoulder in here. So I could um, put a bit of a chamfer on the edge of those to allow that uh, thread to bear down. But we'll have a look at the stud and see why that could possibly still be a problem. So here's my second solution. Here's two studs, one I've modified, one I haven't. And uh, I'm sure I'll get lots of comments on this, but uh, when I was in the engineering game, fitter by trade, all of our um, threads, we were, used to relieve the end of them so that they could come right up and bear under the head. And the weakest point of uh, this stud is the bottom of that thread. So I've got a little lathe down the back and uh, what I've done is basically come in there with a carbide tool, haven't put any heat into this at all, um, come down to the bottom of the thread and relieved out that stud. Now the stud screws all the way down and uh, bottoms on the face of the mounting positions. So it uh, clamps those guide plates. And that's only one issue. The second issue is uh, the right push rod length. So the cam's obviously in this, um, the solid lifters are in it, uh, and that push rod is sitting down on the solid lifter. Uh, and I've got probably, I reckon, close to three mil um, to go to get that roller rocker to hit the top of uh, the valve stem. And uh, even with adjusting this guide plate here, there's about a millimetre there. Um, so one mil is 80 thou. I'm still about two mil off getting that down uh, and that's still bearing um, down on the uh, hex head there. So um, I had a look at the 202 push rods and the standard 202 push rod is about, um, oh, don't quote me on this, but I had to look it up, and they're about 100 thou longer um, than the 173 push rods, um, 9 inches, 130 thou, something like that, which is about 80 thou over this. Um, but I'll go down to my engine builder. I know he's got a couple of adjustables, and uh, I'll get those and uh, set this up correctly, work out my right length, and uh, we'll be moving forward again. So guys, she's a slow old process in the shed. Um, 
I thought these push rods would probably be okay. It was what I was running in it before. Um, but anyway, I'll do a bit of research, a bit of investigation. Uh, any comments, any suggestions, any feedback uh, is hugely appreciated. So just throw some comments down below. There's been awesome comments, discussion. Uh, the eyebrows caused a, a fair bit of uh, discussion, the eyebrows on the cylinder bores. Um, and that's good. Uh, there was positive, there was negative. There's a lot of people talking about it. And uh, this is old skills. Um, saw some comments there about this is what they used to run on um, on um, cars that run at Bathurst, the old six cylinders, and they used to do this type of stuff. Huge valves in small motors and uh, obviously running into those issues. Um, it, it not only clearances the valves, but it also unshrouds the valves so you're getting better flow uh, through the engine. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And uh, we will catch up again, I'm sure, uh, early next week when I uh, get this uh, push rod issue resolved. Take care and see you soon. Mm -hmm.